Why did you come here? Stop staring at me. That's kind of weird. You're freaking me out a little bit here. What do you want? Oh, Xbox, Streamlabs over yes, no capture card. All right, I got you. What's good my people? Welcome back to the channel for another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to set up your Xbox Series S or X console with Streamlabs OBS so that you can hear your alerts, you can get those nice overlays to make your stream a little bit more dynamic than it would be without it. And of course for this setup, as you see by the title, you're not going to need to pick up a capture card whatsoever. All you're going to need is your Xbox Series S or X console, even the older Xbox works as well. You're going to need a Windows computer so you can run Streamlabs OBS in addition to a microphone which is optional but you'll want to pick up one in case you want to have that commentary overlaid on top of your gameplay if you're curious which microphones would be best for a gameplay streaming setup i put some affiliate links below so go check those out the first thing you'll want to do is navigate to xbox.com and download the xbox app for your windows pc once the installation is complete you'll want to click on your icon on the top right hand side and go to view your profile from here, you'll want to scroll down and you'll see an option to add your console to your Xbox app. After that, you'll need to physically turn on your Xbox console to enable and test the remote play features. I highly recommend that you guys have a strong internet connection or you're using some sort of ethernet cable between your router and your computer and also the console for the best results here. So at this point, you guys should be good to go for the remote play setup. And now within the Xbox app on your computer, you wanna go back to your profile and then scroll back down to the right hand side and you'll see your Xbox listed there and go ahead and select the three dotted icon and then press the remote play option. This will initiate the remote play session for the Xbox that you just added to your app. And at this point, you should see an additional window displayed on your computer with the Xbox gameplay included in it. With the Xbox Remote Play application up and running on your computer, you will not need to pair the controller with your computer. You can keep this Xbox controller paired directly with the console. You can even continue to watch your gameplay from your TV or your monitor, whatever you normally use. Nothing will change for your gameplay experience. Next up, you guys can head over to streamlabs.com and download Streamlabs OBS and log into the app using your YouTube, Facebook, or even your Twitch account if you haven't already. From within the app to add that gameplay picture from the Xbox Remote Play session, you're gonna wanna go to one of your scenes and then on the right side of that, you wanna add a new source. From here, you wanna select a window capture. Here you can name it here, whatever you want. And then on the next screen, you're gonna wanna select the Xbox app within the dropdown. But for some of you guys, you'll probably see that it's going to be a black screen. And of course we don't want a black screen. So what do we have to do to fix this? Well, you'll want to go back to that Xbox remote play window and then access the settings by clicking on the three dotted icon in the far left hand corner. And then you can toggle the full screen mode on and off. And by doing that, you'll be able to get your gameplay to appear within a window capture in Streamlabs OBS. After doing this, you can put the remote play window back to full screen or you can shrink it down. Just don't minimize it because if it's minimized, it'll just be a frozen picture for your window capture. Now you guys can go ahead and readjust the gameplay window sizing within Streamlabs OBS by just manipulating the corners or by right clicking and going to transform and fitting the window to the screen. I'm sure you guys wanna get the most out of using Streamlabs, so one of the big things it offers is alerts, and you can do that by just adding another source and then selecting the alerts overlay widget option, which you can customize to your liking for different notifications that will pop up on screen, such as when you get a new follower, donations, subscribers, you can even add a face cam overlay on top of your gameplay by adding another video capture source and then just selecting the camera that's connected to your computer. The last thing you guys wanna check before you record or go live are your audio settings. You'll wanna double check to make sure that your speakers or your headphones are selected so that way people can hear your gameplay audio through the stream. Something else people are gonna to wanna to hear is your commentary. So under that, you see mic auxiliary. You're gonna to wanna to select the microphone that's connected to your computer. In my case, it's the Elgato Wave 3, but you'll wanna have some microphone selected so people can hear your voice on the stream. 
With everything put together now, what makes this setup really cool is the fact that you can plug in a pair of headphones to your computer and listen to all of your audio. So not just the gameplay and the chat coming from the remote play application, but you can also hear your alerts, you can listen to Spotify, literally all of your desktop audio output can be heard and recorded, which is so cool. Once your recording or live stream is finished, on the Xbox, you can stop the remote play session by tapping the home button and then selecting the disconnect option. But I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Thank you so much for staying to the very end of the video. I really, really appreciate it. Hope you guys are able to take something away from this video and learn something and just seeing how easy and cool it is that you can just use Streamlabs OBS with an Xbox and no capture card is required in between those. And you'll have not the best footage compared to a capture card, but for essentially just screen recording a remote play session, it looks pretty good. You guys can let me know what you think in the comment section below. Of course, hit me up as always if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.